Hello everyone, so this is just a quick video to um, you know, make a, a, to do a, a book review um, on, on a book called uh, Advanced uh, Theoretical Physics uh, by Nicholas Hid, um, who um, on top of uh, writing um, a theoretical physics books um, is also the uh, main host of the uh, channel The Science Asylum, uh, which is a very good channel when it comes to uh, communicating about science um, and in fact uh, the, this textbook is uh, is basically when you want to go beyond and actually do science yourself or understand it uh, a bit deeper um, so first of all, what is this uh, this textbook about so it is called advanced uh, theoretical physics um, now the um, the only uh, thing I could say is that perhaps uh, this is not as advanced as, as people may uh, assume. Um, however, um, it, it does contain um, the, you know, the theoretical minimum you could assume um, somebody who um, um, plans to go onto uh, a theoretical physics degree uh, at graduate level uh, w would want to know. Okay, um, and so I think th this is this is really what, what matters here. Um, and uh, the, I've looked at the presentation, so here I'm going to show as well some uh, of the pages, uh, and I'm going obviously to put a, a link in the description to um, to Nicholas's website where uh, he actually shares uh, the, there is a, um, an, um, an e version, and also you can get the the actual book. Uh, so I got the book uh, here. So the um, first of all, what is contained in the book is essentially um, starting from basic um, co coordinate systems uh, and actually starting with a very interesting, um, um, let's say, uh, discussion about whether uh, you know the laws of nature or whatever are written in the language of mathematics. I, I thought uh, this start this kicking off the the book. Uh, by a discussion about this phrase uh, by, by Nick Lucid w was very interesting. Um, uh, so, so the bottom line is that there is very, like, we start with basic mathematics, um, how this is used to uh, model uh, various concepts um, in physics, uh, vectors, um, position, and, and stuff like that, and, and then after that, like, forces and, 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 and so on, and then moving on to more complicated objects, uh, uh, operators, um, integrals, like more things related to calculus, analysis, etc., uh, and it extending essentially all of that to you know, vector calculus and, and so on. Uh, now, all of these things are, are then extended to more theoretical subjects, uh, which are um, well, electromagnetism is a somewhat theoretical subject, but then um, special and general relativity in particular, which are. Uh, quite uh, well covered, uh, and again, uh, um, it finishes as well with some part on quantum mechanics. And again, you, you you've got access to the table of content directly on the website. Um, but so, what I wanted to insist on is really who is this book for? In my opinion, um, and first of all, I think this is a book for everyone. Um, I think it's uh, it permits to get uh, a good recap on um, typical undergrad material um, that, uh, that you, again, you're expected to know um, before moving on to a more theoretical graduate um, uh, degree. Um, and so I think that's what, that, that, that's the kind of person is, is destined to uh, for the most part. And, and, I, and what I wanted to, to say is, um, because I'm, uh, I'm teaching at university, I'm kind of aware as well um, of the curricula that are currently followed by undergraduate students. I'm aware of the textbooks which are followed by, uh, for example, your one and two um, in, in mechanics, for example. Um, and the level is, uh, I must say, it's quite, uh, f in terms of the formal uh, technical skills that are required, is very, very low compared to what it was, let's say, 15, 20 years ago. Uh, that being said, this is also this, um, this decrease in the mathematical skills is compensated uh, in part by computational modules, um, you know, at least uh, in, in the UK and clearly as well, I'm, I'm sure, in the US, 
uh, and in other uh, countries as well in Europe. Um, so the thing here is, is that uh, there are plenty of possibilities for students who are interested in theory um, and to do, you know, to actually work and do a career in, in theoretical physics, uh, to not have engaged with some theoretical content and some theories. So, for example, general relativity is very rarely uh, taught or delivered uh, in most physics curricula uh, that you can follow, especially in the UK, because it's not necessarily a la carte, so you can't necessarily do that. Um, and so in that case, I think this textbook um, is a very, very good uh, way uh, to get um, uh, you know, to get up to date with regards to this knowledge, to um, refresh some of the knowledge we may have actually forgotten. Um, and in particular, it also remains fairly concise. So it's, it's, it is rigorous. Uh, most uh, derivations are done like almost, you know, one step at a time. So they can be followed. So it's very pedagogical in that sense. Um, however, um, it, it is not advanced in the sense that, uh, you know, you're not going to have like let's say as a Dirac equation there, you're not going to have the uh, like anything related to um, quantum field theory, um, you're not going to have path integrals there, you're not going to have, um, I, in fact, I, I must confess uh, <laughs> that uh, uh, thermodynamics and, um, and statistical mechanics are missing here. Uh, so since this is my branch of, of expertise, uh, I must say, uh, this should have been there, uh, but apart from that, I think um, I, I think most of it is really uh, covered, uh, especially for people who would want to go then in, into more um, uh, how is it called um, yeah more high energy particle physics um, kind of studies. There's a bit of cosmology as well, but I think it's quite minimal. But at least if people are interested, they, they've got some uh, information on that. And personally, I, I would recommend it to my own students. Um, if they aspire to um, uh, to basically go into a, a more theoretical uh, degree after, uh, let's say, a bachelor degree or even a, a master's degree, um, so so that's that that is really a quick review. Um, and again, I'm, this is not sponsored. Uh, this is just because um, I, uh, I just wanted to to comment on this book. You know, when there are good books coming out which are accessible, and in fact accessible price-wise as well, then I think this needs to be um, specified.